Six people have lost their lives and 50 others, including many police officers, were injured after clashes between protesting teachers and police in southern Mexico. The incident took place where two high-profile union leaders were arrested last week after being accused of corruption in the state of Oaxaca. Members of the CNT union, which has a history of radical activism, have been blocking roads in southern Mexico ever since the union leaders were arrested. The authorities said the police were trying to clear the roads when unknown gunmen began firing at both sides in order to create chaos and conflicts. Union members say the corruption allegations against their leaders are politically motivated. The Mexico's National Security Commission said in a statement that the policemen involved in the operation near the town of Nojeslian were not carrying guns. The state-owned oil company Pemex warned on Friday that it might be forced to close a refinery in the area if the highway linking Oaxaca to the capital Mexico City remained blocked. And now over to Mina Roshemone for some sport news. Thank you, Timmy, and welcome to Sports Updates. Nigerian champions Enyimba started their campaign in the group stages of the CAF Champions League on a disappointing note as they were handed a 1-0 defeat by Zamalek Football Club of Egypt on Sunday. The game was delayed for a few minutes following heavy downpour at the Adoke at Macy Maka Stadium in Port Harcourt. Basem Moses scored the only goal eight minutes into the game with a beautiful header. Meanwhile, Aimba's head coach Paul Abogun has backed his side to recover from the disappointment of the defeat. Aimba now occupies the third position on the log and must beat Group B leaders Mamelodi Sundowns of South Africa.